Hey, what's going on, guys? Guys, here we go. Chef PV here, uh, ATXRC Productions, Zero Ground FPV. Um, <clears throat> today, we've got a quick little tip I just wanted to show you guys on uh, what I'm about to do. So, we're having a bit of a demonstration tonight with our multi GP chapter, and it's going to run a little bit into the night. Uh, some of us don't run LEDs typically on all of our frames, only a couple of them. So, you got to have a solution, right, for being able to kind of get some LEDs on your quad really quick and get up in the air whenever it turns dark. So what I do is I use a strip of LED. This one just so happens to already be coated with epoxy, so silicone. So um, I would definitely recommend doing that if you don't already have a protective coating over it. Go ahead and protect it with either epoxy or some sort of clear silicone. Um, but what I've done here is uh, I've quickly prepped the ends. So this one actually has multiple pads at the end uh, for different colors. However, it's only a one color uh, strand. It actually, you can't select the colors. This is a blue strand. So I'm going to use the blue, the B tab at the end, and I'm going to use the 12 volt positive at the other end. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to power this off of a 4S LiPo. So I'm going to use a 4S LiPo plug, just like this one was. So I've got a 4S LiPo plug. And I basically pulled out the pins or broke off the pins that I'm not using. It's hard to see, but I've only got two pins left. The pins I have left are this far one over here on this side. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. The far one on this clipped edge. So there's that pin. And then the number four pin. So the reason I'm doing that is um, you're getting one of them is going to be your ground, which is going to be this first pin. And the second one is going to be your power. And that power to get 12 volts off of a 4S pack, you just pull it from the number four wire right here, and you have three cells, which is 12 volts. So, real easy. It's real simple to do, guys. You could use um, some wire if you wanted to put a lead. You could do a lead, but I actually don't want to do a lead on this one. I'm actually going to do this one a little bit different. I want to direct solder just to the pads, this actual setup. So, really quickly, I'm going to... Add some solder to the pads I'm using. Again, the blue and the positive 12 volt. I'm going to go ahead and just put just a little bit of solder, there we go, on these pins so they are tinned and ready to seat. And then for me, here we go. All right. Now remember, this is your, oops, this number one pin is your ground pin. So it's going to go on the B tab for me or on the ground tab. Once that one's connected, the other one can just be kind of pushed into place. And on these, they actually line perfectly up, which is great. So there you go. So now I have that 4S plug plugged into the end of my LED strip. And as you can see... I can plug it in now, wrap it around the battery strap, just like that. And now my battery is lit up with the color that I have. So this is blue. I've got some red, some purple, some other ones. Uh, we're going to use these so where we can just slap them on quads tonight for guys that don't have any. Now, the only other thing I would recommend is getting some hot glue. And what you'll want to do is like this one here, you're going to want to hot glue just all those pins. Just cover them up. Cover up the uh, wires where they're connecting and all, just in case you snap something off. You don't want to short something out. Uh, but that should work for you guys as far as a portable, quick throw-on LED strip. Just wanted to show you how you can do that. Fly safe, fly smart, guys. Fly zero ground FPV. Peace.